Webheads, are you ready for the newest, the latest, the greatest, the hottest comic books getting ready to come out? Guys, I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. Today, I'm going to show you books that are getting ready to come out for about next four to five weeks. So when I get done showing you this list, let your local comic book shop know that you want some of these awesome variant comic book covers or the latest stories so you don't miss out when it comes to new comic book day. This list is powered by Comic Central on highlighting some of the most anticipated comic books coming out very shortly. All right, guys, so here we go, kicking it off with Star Wars Obi-Wan. So obviously the show is getting ready to come out. I'm totally stoked about the show. Um, I might check this out just to see what this book has to offer. I am a fan of obviously this time period when it comes to Star Wars. Uh... This is the story I truly wanted to see when it comes to Anakin and Obi-Wan. So I definitely might check that out. We have our variant covers here. This is a pretty cool one of old man Obi-Wan, right? All right, next we have Spider-Man 2099 Exodus Alpha. <laughs> so guess who's back, guys? Spider-Man 2099, Miguel O'Hara is back. He's teaming up with Ghost Rider uh, 2099, I guess, as well. I'm on board with this. I just, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So we'll definitely check it out. Uh, I love the variants here. That one is pretty cool. And this one is obviously an homage to the original Spider-Man 2099. So that is really, really cool right there. All right, next we get a new number one, Savage Avengers issue one, all new, all different Savage Avengers team. I might check this one out as well. I missed out on the first Savage Avengers. And then we got the Hulk of Hulk Vereen. Uh, we have like Anti Venom there. We have Electra Daredevil. We have Deathlock. You got Conan, of course. So yeah, this looks like it could definitely be a lot of fun. Here's your variant here by John Ramuda Jr. That does not work for me. I am not buying that variant. And this one looks pretty cool. All right, next we got Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue 38. Uh, next stop is the Empire of the Spider. Miles and Schiff's hunt through the multiverse lands them back in Brooklyn. It's not the home they know, but the Empire of the Spider, a timeline where Miles clones Salem is victorious and the only thing standing in the evil Spider-Man's way is a rebellion led by General Gonke and a very grown-up, extremely badass Captain Billy. You know, this could be fun. This could be what Miles Morales needs. Something completely, totally different and, a, you know, something set in the future. Uh, because I have not been enjoying that title as late. And uh, we're getting that Spider, Spider Smasher character. So, yeah, we'll see what happens there. Pretty nice looking cover. And then we get this one. Amazing Spider-Man issue two. Look at that JRJR cover. <laughs> Being exaggerative. The best couple in comics is done. You aren't going to believe what is happening in this volume of Amazing Spider-Man. Listen, we've seen it before. They've never truly gotten back together. They got teased at that they were maybe going to move together in issue 93. We'll see what happens. That's a pretty cute looking cover here. This is a really nice looking cover. That one's done by Inhyuk Lee with him fighting Tombstone. Really like that one. Next, we have Captain Marvel issue 38. So it looks like we got Captain Marvel as binary, right? So that's what you got going there. And then we got this cover, which is a gorgeous cover too. I love how the sunset is kind of uh, setting behind the, or the sun rises behind the Empire State Building. That's gorgeous. Then we got your Marvel reprints. We got Carnage issue one, Venom Lethal Protector issue one, Avengers Forever, whichever issue that is. Maybe that is issue one. Wolverine Patch, issue one. And then we have, uh, how do you see this guy's name? Kirsten Star Wars Tales. So it's this Wookiee guy that's the bounty hunter. So could check out this one also. That's a pretty nice looking cover there too, based off of the show. And then we move on to the uh, indie gems. We have Quest Aside. So we have this book uh, from Vault. That's a pretty cool looking cover of this dude drinking some beer. <laughs> Naughty List issue one. So this is, I had a family once. 
a wife who loved me, a child we loved together. That's all gone now, been gone for hundreds of years, all because of that damn star. My name, it depends on where you live. Some call me Chris Kingle, so others Papa Noel, but my real name is Nicholas. Sinterklaas, and this is the story of what happens when you steal my naughty list up on the housetop, click, 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 down through the chimney with old Saint Nick. From <laughs> What is happening here, dude? I, I don't know, man. This might be cool. I might check this one out. Next, we have Bloodstained Teeth, issue one from Image Comics. This is a vampire story where blood isn't the only thing vamps crave, and for the right price, he'll make you a vampire too. After all, immortality isn't cheap. Well, it might be different. Check out his fangs, they're like gold. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like the reflection in the dude's glasses. So here we have another uh, image here as well. I don't know, that could be cool. All right, so now we're moving on to DC. So now we have Joker issue 14. Final issue, um, and this will be the last issue of the Joker that I read. Um, this is the last one that Tynion is writing, and I found this story very drawn out. It's not the same as it once was when it first started, so I'm not coming back for season two, but I am interested to see how this whole thing wraps up once and for all. Gotta love the punchline cover. Next, always a fan favorite of this, we have Dark Knights of Steel, issue six. Last issue was intense, guys. If you have not read this series, I definitely recommend this. You know, Superman, Batman are going to be enemies and this book is phenomenal. Here is your variants cover here. And then we have Deathstroke Incorporated, issue eight, as I'm pretty sure this continues the whole storyline when it comes to the, um, Shadow War, yes it does, this is part three. The Alpha issue was phenomenal. The Batman issue was okay. So I'm hoping good things from this one. And then if you want this Deathstroke, this is paying, uh, this. I'm sorry, this variant cover, this is paying homage to the original Deathstroke series, I think. So that's pretty awesome there. Then we have Robin issue 14. So also this continues the same storyline, which I'm looking forward to love this cover and then we got this cover too this looks like kind of a like a anime inspired or movie inspired cover so that looks awesome then we have the continue of trial of the amazons uh this is trial of the amazon number two trial of the amazons part seven i stopped reading this i think the covers look gorgeous i thought um wonder girls cover looked gorgeous but the story here is just a bore fest for me i will not be reading that Currently, next, we have Harley Quinn issue 14. Interesting cover here. Not currently reading this book either. Uh, I just want a different direction when it comes to Harley, but if you're into the character, go ahead, check it out. Nice Derek Chu cover here as well. <laughs> That's nice. So there we have it when it comes to DC. So there you have it, webheads. Now the ball's in your court. It's time to let your local comic book shop know which comic books you want so you don't miss out on New Comic Book Day. And of course, guys, if you like my content, I'll leave you more content right here to check out. In fact, this is my latest episode of After the Pull where I review some of most, most of my highly most anticipated comics. So of course, guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, keep reading your comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Bye.